Yeah. We are live. Here we are, can you see it still? Oh um, yeah! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> it's still weird. Hi guys, we have got, we'll just give you a couple more minutes. We're going to start in about three minutes time. Um, so give yourself plenty of time to get some ingredients or any bowls that you need out ready to go. I have shared with you in the links on the live chat um, the recipe card, whatever we want to call it. Um, so if you want to follow that as well as us, then you can do that as well. So the link is in the live chat right at the top. Um, so yeah, we're going to start in a few minutes time, okay? We're going to give you the chance to get your ingredients ready this time. So you should have 125 grams of butter, 100 grams of soft brown sugar, um, 125 grams of caster sugar, one egg, one teaspoon of vanilla essence, and 125 grams of self-raising flour, a tiny pinch of salt, and 200 grams of chocolate chip cookie, um, chocolate chips. I didn't have any, so like I keep saying, use what you've got in your cupboards. I'm gonna use this chocolate, I'm gonna use my knife, and I'm just gonna chop it up into smaller bits and that will be absolutely fine. So no need to go out and buy chocolate chips. Right. Just use what you have. That's it, so if you haven't got any chocolate chips, unfortunately you managed to get out and grab some. I'm also gonna be using some M&Ms. Yeah, so if so you've do. got stuff in your um, cupboards, you can use this sort of stuff as well. So I'm gonna replace a few of the chocolate chips with some M&Ms. Um, just to mix it up, so we'll see if it makes a difference. So yeah, we'll give everyone a little bit more time to get in. Give this video a thumbs up, give it a like, share it on all your social media, and uh, we'll get started in one minute officially. So we'll do a couple of shout outs. Uh, Olive saying hi miss. Hi Olive. <laughs> We've got Maddie, can't wait for the cookies. We've got Abby, I presume Miss Morton's cooking alongside you as well. So really good to see you guys getting involved. Post your pictures so we yes. can have a look as well. So share your pictures or your masterpieces of the cookies and share them to my email or the Google Classroom um, or share them to Miss Taylor as well, not a problem at all. Um, and we'll, we can send some certificates out for the best Yeah, ones. best cookies. Feel free to adapt as well. Adapt the recipe. Mix it up a bit. Add your own ingredients. I've also got... Oh, I suppose these are little egg got? things, aren't they? Got? got some got eggs. Some, oh, yeah, nice. but yeah. I'm going to smash them up a bit. Oh, I've got some smart eggs. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cool, love it. They were left in the uh, cupboard from the cake that I made. Just give it a bit of And that should do it. Here comes Mr. Lee. Hello, Hello sir. <laughs> Just about to get started. Mr. Lee's in the room. He's going to get in first dibs on the cookies. Yeah, what time? Well, Spanish, Spanish omelette was delicious, by the way. Did you like it? Good, good, good. Beautiful. <laughs> That's yeah. so easy to make. Literally, chuck in what you've got in your cupboards. So there's, yeah, half an hour left. Half an hour. When's Mr. Gilda start cracking the eggs? Because that's really the main reason I've come here. <laughs> and we've got a plastic that. bowl, but we're going to no, remind I'm, him. I'm going to learn. i listen this time. I will listen this time, and yeah. I will use. You can't crack an egg. Potatoes last time. Yeah, that was oh, no, no, he went slow and didn't chop his fingers. Uh, I had to yeah. give him a little hand. <laughs> Right, should we get started? Let's do it. Right. Let's do it. What's up first? Butter. You need to measure your butter. You've got your scales yeah. there. So, so you want butter, 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 125. Are you stealing mine? Yes, I am. <laughs> I am stealing yours. <laughs> wow. <laughs> did, did you have any? No, go, go. I forgot my butter, guys. brought right? half the ingredients. <laughs> so That's okay. Saying? Yeah, so you don't have to measure that. But I will okay. have to measure mine. I'll have to measure this one. <laughs> Outrageous! <laughs> now you've got to keep sorry what she's got. Yeah. Come on in guys, get your butter ready. Not like me. <laughs> and his is all nice and soft now. Oh it is, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, we'll switch it. No, no, it's fine. I'll get my ready. Look at this bit. 
Okay, here we go. 125, yeah? Yeah. That's it. Okay, give it a little whiz around whiz with around. your wooden spoon, just cool. to soften it up. Soft, it? Mm, it is because it's been out. <laughs> I'm just getting you back for that. The yeah, last week, giving me a plastic bath. That was your own doing. Okay. A little bit of a whiz. And we're going to add our sugars. Sugars. Over. Sugars in. So you've got the act. So you've got a measure of your sugar. Measure my sugar. And that's 125. 125 of sugar. 125. 125 of cast done. Right, I would pop it in there, take that off, yeah. zero it, put okay. it in there just in case okay. you put too much in, and then um, you've got a problem. Okay, so one, two, five, yeah? One, two, five. One, two, five, and the other one's weighed out for you. Lovely, thank you. No problem, eh? Right, and then one, we're just going to whisk that around. One, two, eight. Yeah. Got a bit of a sweet tooth. <laughs> Cake making is a precise <laughs> oh, science. Okay. Chuck a few grams out of it. <laughs> brown, brown sugar as well. Yeah, brown sugar in, give it a whisk. Brown sugar. Oh, I guess I want to see this moment. <laughs> so you should get a nice up. mixture there. I didn't actually have um, light sugar, light brown, so I used a bit of dark and caster and it will be absolutely fine. We've got to learn how to use and adapt recipes and use what we have in our cupboards. Okay. How are we doing, sir? All mixed? Yeah. All right, to that I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. One teaspoon. One teaspoon going in. Vanilla extract. Do you want to chuck some more? Go on in. Okay. So one teaspoon. I'll give that a little bit of a whisk. Well, I want to see if we've got anyone out there that can crack an egg in the hand like the chefs do. I can't do that. I use the side of the table when we have a plastic right. bowl. So good practice good. in your bowl. Cool, they smell lovely already. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So in your bowl. If you guys have learned from my mistakes, you need to use part of the table, not plastic. So just not off. plastic. Okay. So I'm going to use a little bit of the edge. I'm going to give you a go. Let's go. Oh yes. Put it in your bowl just in Put case. Put it in my bowl, okay. Yeah, because if one. the egg was off, then the, all the ingredients have got to then go in the bin. This way oh, you can yeah, check that, that your sense, egg's okay. And you can see if you've got any shell in there. It creates a bit of washing up, but the bowls are dirty anyway. Perfect. Well yep. done, no, no shell. Good. No shell. We give that a little whiz round. Just chuck that in there. Yep, chuck it in. Put egg in there, give a good mix up. Literally 10 little turns and that's good to go. Um, a little snippet of salt, so a little one, one, two. And then, that, 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 that's plenty. <laughs> <laughs> a little snippet. <laughs> and then your flour. And then my flour. How much yeah. flour? Flour is two two five. Two two five. Right, so let's zero that out. Yeah, zero it out. I would use your bigger bowl. Bigger yeah, bowl. yeah, bigger bowl. Bigger bowl it is. Get that one out of the way. And that one. Zero that. Let's get this open. Our flour, self raising flour, right? It's self raising. Self raising flour. Don't get mixed up. There we go. Two, two, five. Two, two, five. Don't be tempted, especially as it's warm, to add more flour because it feels um, a little bit soft still. You've got all that chocolatey goodness to add yet, so don't be tempted to add more flour. Stick to the amounts in the recipe, which is two, two, five. Bang on. Bang on the money. Bang on. Woo! (laughs) Two, two, five, y'all. Lovely stuff, right. So I'll just chuck that in here. Chuck it in, whisk it around, and then the chocolate's going in. And that's Millie's cookies. That is Millie's cookies done, isn't done. it? Yep. Wow. They're quick. Lovely quick, quick, really quick. Lots of chocolate. Lots of chocolatey goodness.
I say chocolatey goodness. I <laughs> actually like chocolate. <laughs> what? I don't actually like it. Oh, these look fantastic already. It's not even baked. And I'm going to chuck in just a few of these because there is rather a lot of chocolate in there. Just in case they weren't chocolatey enough, just a few of those go in. Give it a little bit of colour. Oh, okay. Miss Pasquale's in. Maddie's hungry, she can't wait. Abby, well done for doing it on your own. Awesome, love it. And that's it done. That that is it done. That's it done. Get those away. I need to chuck oh. my chopped chips in there. Chopped chips in. If you've got a train liner, use them. They are a fabulous bit of kit that saves you lots of scrubbing and washing up. Okay, those spoons. Just gonna get some spoons first. Put my M&Ms as well. I'm gonna chuck some in there. Yeah, I'm chucking them in. Have you got sweet tips there? Yeah, I think that'll do. Yeah, I don't know what I'll see what I'll be alright for tomorrow. And the next day. Oh, look at that. So it should be a little bit stiffer. Oh, look at that. It's a mixture. So you can see by looking at both my bowls, there's a difference in colour. Mine is slightly browner because I use that brown sugar. Again, using what you've got in the cupboards. Absolutely fine. Okay, so I'm going to take a little splodge of my mixture and pop it onto my baking tray. About the size of a walnut, or the size you want them to be. They only take seven to 10 minutes to cook, depending on how big you make them, but they will spread, so you need to space them out on the baking tray. Got a spoon, yeah? Yep, you got one there. Oh, sweet, thank you. Yep, not getting our hands mucky. We're using the spoon, popping those on there. I might have to go and get two baking trays because we seem to have made rather a lot. <laughs> God, these are super chocolatey. You could, if you wanted to, make, I suppose, a great big one. Big cookie. Yeah, big cookies. Just a little dollop here. See, you'll never buy Millie's cookies again. Now you know <laughs> how easy. They are to make. We've got a new business venture now. Millie's cookies. I'm going to get us some more trays because we've made loads. Lovely. That looks a lot bigger than the others, isn't it? Whoop. Yeah, maybe I'll check out one of these. There you go. Oh, that is. Get so chocolate. Right, remember they'll spread, oh, yeah. so not too close together. And don't be tempted to stick it all on the tray because you're getting bored with scooping it out. <laughs> Persevere. <laughs> Trays. Well, there's plenty of students here, I'm sure they'll be uh, wanting a free cookie. Get judged, get judged. Right, are we doing this, sir? Another try. Oh, I don't want here, thank you. So, are we going to put oil in? Yeah. I'm going to get you another tray. Oh, thank you. How long do you reckon they're going to take? Um, I'm going to give them eight minutes and then okay. we'll check. So we'll get Miss Taylor's in. And then I'll set your oven for you. And then we'll set mine off. I think you are going to need another tray there. Yeah. 
Look how easy that was, guys. Very few ingredients, and we've made loads. They're getting a bit big, sir. They're, big, <laughs> They're big. getting a bit big. Be careful. Okay, right, let's, uh, we let's calm it down. We don't want one whole cookie tray. <laughs> let's calm it down. We're getting a little bit big. Few little dollops. No, some of us have big appetites, so. We don't want them <laughs> turning into one in the So this bit actually took longer than it did to actually make them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this bit takes longer. Yeah. It'll take your time, guys, with this one. They're definitely worth the wait. Yeah. So don't forget, guys, give this a thumbs up, share it, let's get a few more people in. Typical Mr. Gilda. Thank you, Miss Pasquale, <laughs> for that. Oh, we've got Yaz in. Oh. Yaz is tuned in. <laughs> Hello, Yaz. <laughs> Laughing at probably me. <laughs> but I think we've got a new business venture. I think, if, uh... I think we've got this in the bag. <laughs> in the bag. My favourite cooking tool, the spatula. I hate it when you watch people on telly cooking and they don't clean the bowl out of every single possible bit of ingredients. Use a spatula. Get all your ingredients cooked. Don't want to wash it down the sink. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm there. Right, let's get your two trays in because you haven't only hold two and set your timer. Lovely stuff. Thank you, Miss Taylor. Very, very sweet. I need a spatula. And um, you've got a blue one there. Blue one, thank you. How are we doing? So out of that ingredients, those ingredients we've had, we've made pretty much two, three trays each of cookies. Right, sir? Yeah. Spatula. Right. Round your bowl. <laughs> round, round the bowl. Round the bowl. Round the bowl. Right. With the aim of leaving that bowl as clean as possible. Don't wash up your ingredients. Eat your ingredients. Okay. <laughs> you say so. <laughs> okay. Let's clear down. Looking good. There. Awesome. Well, we can let these touch run and I'll go and get us some dishcloths. Lovely. Cool. So the cookies are in the oven. Can you smell them? Mm, yeah. They're gorgeous. They're flattening out. Looking good. Looking good. Come on, have a look. Here they are. Two trays in. Oh, yeah, looking good. They're not joined as a twin act yet. Lovely stuff. Alright, there you go, sir. Thank you. So, we've got, yeah, Olive, well done. Two trays, make sure you take some photos. And upload. Through, upload it. Send it to our email. Uh, Mr. Gilder's email address or Miss Taylor's address. Um, so, you should have two or three trays. Um, perfect. Share with the family, share with friends when you do get to see them. Um, who else is on here? Chase says hi as well, Miss Taylor. Hi, am. Um. <laughs> right. Make 
sure we're washing up now. Yeah, we're washing up now. Down. A little bit of a wait. About six minutes wait. When your cookies come out, they'll still be quite soft. As they cool down, they harden. Yeah, so we'll get some wire trays out and we'll pop those cookies on the tray yeah. so that will harden up. Cookies going nice, brown, golden brown, some chocolate chips in there, got some Smarties in there, got some M&Ms in there, perfect. While you're waiting, next Lovely. week we'll be back, we're going to be doing a ready, steady cook. So me, Miss Taylor, will be having a cook-off. Ingredients, we will have no clue what the ingredients are. So you guys at home can do this as well, randomly. There's someone else in your family to go get you some ingredients. Only five. Only, only five. five ingredients. Yeah. So we can only cook with five ingredients. And um, we're going to have a little cook-off. I mean, I'd say we're going to have a cook-off. It's not really going to be <laughs> It will be fine. You'll have your bag, <laughs> and then straight away you've got to think, what can I make with what I have? It's going to be awesome. Uh, we'll see the master in action next week, Miss Taylor, and then me crumbling. <laughs> You'll be good. Okay. Oh, look at these. They're quite big, aren't they? Ooh. They're quite big, so I'm going to stick that one in. Cancel that off. Oh, amazing. Can I stick it in with you as well? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Perfect. It's going to be on time, isn't it? Don't be tempted to give them longer. A couple are a little bit lighter, even though I use darker sugar. The chocolate's beautifully melted. Yeah. Um, um, if I've got a spatula, you could see underneath that the bottom's cooked. But I'm going to give them a couple of minutes before I put them onto the wire rack because they're soft and they'll just fall apart. So you need to wait for them to go a little bit colder and then pop them on that wire rack. Have you got one of the fish slices in yours? Oh, I got one. Fish slice. Uh, no. Got one there. If you use that, I'll get another one. Yeah, because it'll be easier with the fish line. Can have a little look underneath. Still a bit soft. Still really soft. Chocolate's all goozy and gooey. Mm -hmm. but, um, no, I'm not going to try and do that. I'm going to leave them for the few minutes. Let them get a bit colder, yeah. and then get the rest out. Fall get the rest out. Yeah. Let's get dried up and get this stuff packed away. So five ingredients for next week. Try and get someone to literally put five random ingredients into a carrier bag for you. And then you'll open it at the same time as us. We're going to give ourselves five minutes to have a little think about what we can make with what we have. And then, and then we'll get our cook on, sir. Yeah. It'll be a good one. Yeah. And then what will be really impressive is that when you do get your five ingredients, you'll be cooking along with us. 
You can obviously ask questions on the live chat, which comes through on here. But um, the main thing is that you guys create what you've got in the bag, being creative, see, and share it with us. Share cooking. It with us. Everybody get cooking. Because cooking. Sure. Um, that's what we're here for. So. Can I just say before I forget, store cupboard ingredients, so that would be things like eggs and flour and sugar and seasonings and salt and pepper. All those ingredients are store cupboard ingredients and you can use as many of those as you, as you like. Your five ingredients could be exotic fruit or fish or poultry or meat, anything like that. Okay, good sir. And I look. They look yummy. They look good. Yeah, they look yummy. Ooh, look at them. Let's get the other batch out. A little brown around the edges. They'll go lovely and hard very quickly. Right, my sheets are cold. But obviously, my tray's not. So, I'm going to just try and carefully... Oh, and it fell apart. Lift that on there. So that heat's not radiating through and they're not still cooking on the bottom. And I'll get rid of that. Who can guess what we've done that's a little bit naughty? What was our deliberate thing for you to spot? What did we do when we took it out the oven? What did we use? Oven gloves. Yay! Well done. I burnt my hands, guys. See? <laughs> oven gloves. I'm joking. I use a tea towel, but you should be using oven gloves. Oven gloves all day long. Oh, you're testing me there. I was on the oh, spot I'm testing there. you. Yeah, I wanted to see. I wonder how many of you guys noticed. <laughs> why don't we use a tea towel then, sir? Tell me why. <laughs> why don't we use a tea towel? Why we shouldn't use a tea towel? Why shouldn't we use a tea towel? Why not? Why? Especially because we've just dried up with them. The tea towels are damp. Right. And the heat from the oven will radiate through the tea towel and burn your hands. Oh. Yeah. So I'm yeah. going to trot over to the back and get our oven glove. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying your ingredients as well. Make sure you use them all. All your ingredients, like Miss Taylor says. Yeah, don't leave it in the bowl. Yeah, don't leave it in the bag, don't leave it. Right, they look yummy. You just want to get them off the mat. Nearly there. Yeah. But taking them off the tray helps because the yeah. tray is obviously metal and it's radiating those heat. And they do look like, don't they? They look like the Millie's cookies. I do. It's hard, you just want to dive in there. Here we go. Right, they're off. For one sec. Yeah, give those a few seconds on there, yep. and then you'll be able to take them off. So those that are on the live chat, don't forget to send yours in right, to our uh, email good. addresses. Let's see what you made. Yeah, let's see what you made, guys. Let's get it on there. There's lots of chocolate in these. Oh. That's all right. Those ones look quite firm already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they'll, yeah. Right, They're going to break. Right. <laughs> let's, let's leave those. Oh, they look kind of good though. They do look good. Put these here with the rest of them. Still got some more to come out, haven't we? Yeah, we've yeah, yeah, got, got some more in there. Another three minutes-ish on those. Um, a little bit longer because I left the oven open. But, um, yeah, just like your Millie's cookies, you can see now they're the baked, the difference in the different sugar. So the yeah. light light brown sugar gives you a lighter cookie, yeah. and the darker sugar gives you a darker cookie, but we've got cookies. Yeah. We've got to learn to use what we have in our cupboards and adapt to recipes as much as we possibly can. If you don't have something, find something you can substitute it with. Make the recipe work. Okay, we're gonna have some lovely cookies. Did you bring anything to take them home in? <laughs> no, neither did I. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just have to yeah. eat them here. Gooey centers, yeah, gooey centers. Well, this one is ready to go. I might just have to buy into that one.
We should have sent someone to buy a Minnie's cookie and then made it comparison. Yeah, comparison, yeah. Wow. Finishing up the washer. Uh, how long we got left for that last one, miss? Um, literally a couple of minutes. Oh. Yeah, only a couple of minutes. Gonna give the bottom ones, which were yours, a little bit longer. Yeah. Because if you leave the oven door open, all the heat comes out. Oh yeah. So next week, guys, final ingredients. Ready, steady, cook, Ooh. Mr. Gilder. <laughs> what will he make with what he gets? Oh, who knows? What will be in our bags? We have to watch Master Chef and all the cooking programs yeah, now. We're going to have to do some revision. Yeah. We'll get a few basic recipes that you can do, recreate with pretty much any type of protein. Yours a few, just another minute ish, and yeah. they're not quite there. Okay, that's cool. Oh. They're looking good though. We did well. Put the timer on because I tend to forget. Oh, they do look powerful, don't they? How are we looking? Oh, Olive's got us out. We've got Georgia Wallace in as well. Good to see ya. Yeah, Olive doesn't have. Oven gloves, maybe invest in some oven gloves for next week, if you can. I'm sure you or can get some cheap at ones. at the very least, you'll have to make sure that tea towel is not yeah. wet at all. Yeah. I've got someone there, I'm going to try and switch them over in a bit. Because it's so warm, they're taking quite a while to cool down. But that's okay. Don't wash your trays up until they're cold. So although they feel like really soft and squidgy, you still leave them out anyway. Yeah, just yeah, leave them for a little back. bit longer because yeah. they'll tend to fall apart. Okay. So it's they'll be a waiting game. Yeah. They'll have a nice crunchy outside and a chewy centre, nice. just like a Millie's cookie. Mm. So who's hungry? I can't wait to hear them go. Good, so don't forget, send your photos in, send your photos of what they look like now, send your photos of you eating one. You know, we're he here to have some fun as well. I know me and Miss Taylor are having so much fun doing these on a Friday. Loving it. Um, so we're really looking forward to next week as well. Um, it's just gonna be uh, so much it's fun. It's gonna be fun! And random. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so tune in, get your five ingredients, like we said before. Um, Miss, you want to just re, re say what you said about the cupboard? Right, so your store cupboard ingredients will be the things that you would normally use to make a dish and put a dish together. So if, for instance, we had a bag with fish in it, yeah. Yeah, so you could use the herbs that are out back, because they're a store cupboard ingredient. You could use the salt and the pepper, you could maybe do a fish on papillot, so you could use the parchment paper and wrap it all up in there. If we had lemons in the cupboard, they're all stock ingredients that make your dish. The things we want you to put in the bag may be things like pasta, um, meat of any kind, um, fish, rare fruit, something unusual. We did one once in school where I got pig's cheek and just put it down and escargot. Like, what, what are you gonna make? Let's see what you've got. The random, the better, but try not to go out and buy anything special. Stick with what you've got in your cupboard. Yeah, so stock ingredients are what you have in your cupboards that help you create the dish. The five um, random ingredients are the ingredients that go in the bag. I hope that makes sense. Yeah. And then you'll see Sir's culinary skills at their best. 
It's going to be awesome. Well, judging by the eggs last week, they have improved. Yeah, they've improved. improved. That's all it is. We're making progress. That's what we want you guys to be doing at home. Learning from a complete master about mistakes. <laughs> this is the year we all turn into bankers. <laughs> Millie's cookies. Millie's cookies better watch their back. No need to buy them anymore. <laughs> Look how many they've made. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to get get the shoots that are in school to test these. To try out. them out, yeah. Let's see what they think. Two different types of chocolate used. Doubling up on the chocolate. So mine have gone really quite a dark colour. Yours are still yeah, quite light good. with the light brown sugar. Did you use dark chocolate cookies or yeah, uh, chips no, and milk? Just chocolate chip milk. Yeah. yeah, no, it's fine. So you can see it does make a difference in the colour, but it won't make a difference in the taste. So good, powerful cookies. It didn't, didn't take long at all. Yeah, no, not at all. No, really quick. It actually takes longer to spoon the ingredients out. Yeah. But, they look unreal. Did you cook a lot before, sir? No, I don't really cook a lot. I try my best sometimes uh, with a gusto box, but. Um, Alright, cool. Yeah, thank you. And we are done. Done. Then we've got them stacked up. Look at these bad boys. They look good, so they do good. That's I'm impressed. Double, I'm double impressed with myself. Chocolate. I'm proud of myself. You've done well. <laughs> He's going to be cooking a lot more now. Yeah. All right. I hope you enjoyed that because I did. Right. Little minis cook off. So. Well, how long should we be waiting for if they are all waiting at home? How long do you reckon, really? What, for them to cool down? Yeah, cool down um, off the tray, sort of five, six minutes, depends how warm it is in your house as well. And then onto your cooling rack if you have one, and then leave them there until they're hard and until you can pick them up and yeah. eat away. Yeah, yeah, so about five minutes. Five, five minutes on the rack, on the tray itself, and then five minutes on the cooling rack. Because we've, I've put a lot of chocolate in there, you don't want them to fall apart, but sometimes when I've bought Millie's cookies before in the past, they have fallen apart. Yeah. So, chew, um, crispy on the outside and nice and chewy and soft in the middle, mm. just how you want them. So you've got double chocolate, and you've got chocolate with milk chocolate with M and M's. M and M's. Enjoy. Enjoy. Eat one. You've got to do it. Yeah, you've got to do it. That's. <laughs> Sorry guys, I've been Warm out of the I've been done. <laughs> oh, Tell us what you think of your cookies. Oh, oh these are amazing. These are so good. So good. So, remember, send your photos in. I can't talk, I want another one. <laughs> but, yeah, send your photos in. Uh, amazing job that you guys have done cooking with us, baking with us, should I say. And it's been so amazing this morning. So if you haven't tuned in already, um, or you tuned in, but share with everyone, get your family members involved, send as many pictures as you can of what you guys are doing. It's me and Miss Taylor enjoying ourselves baking. So get yeah. cooking. Let's give Miss Taylor, a round of applause for the clap emoji in the comments, please, for giving up her time today to do it with us. And for Sir also, giving up his time. Yay! I'll have, a, I'll have one of these emojis. <laughs> but tune in next week for... Ready, Steve, cook! <laughs> See you guys soon. <laughs> Next week's going to be fun.
Abby, that's all right. Just send a picture when you think they're ready to cook. Good stuff. Well done, Olive. Well done, Georgia. Well done, everyone that got involved today. Don't forget to share it.